Latin singer Angela Aguilar is having an incredible year. The artist just celebrated her 21st birthday and the close of an epic family tour. And our very own Maria Villarreal sat down with Aguilar to get the scoop of the young artist's career and sizzling love life. Fresh off her 21st birthday, Angela Aguilar has a lot to celebrate. At the close of her family tour, Aripeo Hasta Los Huesos, Aguilar sat down with us in Los Angeles to catch up. It's been a minute. I know. How are you? Good to see you. You look amazing. We have a lot to catch up on, ma'am. Girl, stop, stop. I know. Just as the family was wrapping up their tour this summer, news broke of Angela's rekindled relationship with former boyfriend and singer Cristian Nodal. In 2018, Nodal joined the Aguilar family on tour, and then in 2020, the hitmaker released a song featuring Aguilar titled Dime Como Quieres. It's a flirty song where Nodal asks his co-singer how she would like to be loved. Fast forward to May of this year, Nodal announced his breakup with Argentinian artist and mother of his child, Casu. The pair had been together for about 18 months. By mid-June, Aguilar and Nodal let the world know they were together again, and the rumors erupted. I think that there's been a lot of conversation about how you guys have found your way back to each other. One thing I haven't read, though, is that story in your own words. Well, because everyone already makes up everything. Why do I have to say things? They have their own, no literally, telenovelas about it. What is the story? It's not the one that they're portraying. And I don't feel like, at, right now, in this point in my life, I don't really feel like I have to explain anything to anyone. I think that people are being villainized and I think people are being badly portrayed. I think that they're not putting our characters where they should be. I don't think that the, they don't even know 5% of the story that they're trying to tell, but that's okay because that's what sells. No one's heart got broken. No one's, you know, we, we're all, we have a clear consciousness. You know, we're working on something together. Like. Life is so amazing right now. Just as long as I turn off my phone, I just can enjoy how amazing life is. For now, the newlywed is sharply focused on her career and the upcoming Latin Grammys, where her album Bolero is nominated for Album of the Year against other popular female artists like Carol G and Shakira. I always thought that I was gonna be the daughter of Pepe who went to the Grammys with Pepe to win another Grammy, but never, I never thought it was going to be Angela going to the Grammys for Angela. Then it kind of started happening. And it's really cool because it really shows what us women can do. What a fascinating conversation there, and our many thanks to Medea for that report.